how fine pianos are like fine wines. Welcome to Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. When you go to the supermarket and you get a bottle of Coca-Cola or Pepsi or fill in the blank, whatever favorite beverage you like, you're, you know you're always going to get the same flavor. No matter what bottle you get, no matter what year it is, <laughs> no matter what store you get it at, it'll always taste the same. These companies that mass produce you know, soda pop, they work to make sure that the flavors are exactly the same no matter where you go in the country, no matter what store you go, no matter when you buy it at any time of year. All right? But with wines, of course, we know that really good wines will depend on the quality of the grapes. So that's why they will say a certain year had really good grapes depending on the season. And so they may say a 2012 wine from this particular region was really exceptional. So wines can vary, even made by the same manufacturer, wines can vary a great deal depending on the year, depending on uh, the, the maker. And even with the same type of grape, those grapes will change in flavor uh, dramatically. And because of that, it's part of the fun of exploring the world of wines because you can try one and then try it again in a different year and taste diff subtle differences and explore your own sensitivities to uh, discovering what those flavors are. And in much the same way, acoustic pianos are like fine wines. You know, with digital instruments, they'll differ primarily in terms of functionality, in terms of the, perhaps the mechanics, in terms of the feature sets of what you can do, maybe different recording features or different effects or different rhythms. But the core sounds from one instrument to another will pretty much sound the same within a given manufacturer. In other words, our Kurzweil will always sound like a Kurzweil for, for most of their line and so on and so forth. But in the case of acoustic pianos, every piano is unique because it's made of wood, it's made of organic materials, and even though there are components that are produced in quantity, the fact that the woods themselves vary from region to region, from year to year, and of course there's a great deal of hand craftsmanship which adds oh, a unique bit of variability, even among pianos of the same manufacturer, you're going to find subtle differences. And part of the adventure of looking for a fine piano is discovering your own personal preference. Do you like a piano that is warm, that has depth to the sound? Or do you prefer a piano that's brighter and a little more power and punch to the sound? And hopefully as you're watching these videos and listening to the quality of sounds from one piano to another, hopefully you're developing your own preferences for what you like to hear. And of course, then there's the whole range of touch and feel, which is, again, just a whole nother, unfortunately, I wish I could get my, my piano, make, get you to feel what I'm feeling as I'm playing. But at the very least, I can hopefully show you what these pianos sound like. Now, I've already done uh, a video on the Cunningham 5'10 Parlor Grand. And uh, had a, we have somebody who's interested in finding a Cunningham, but is looking for one that is particularly warm. So I came here to our Germantown factory to quickly look through some of our inventory. And among the pianos, this was the warmest. And I'm going to demonstrate what a warm sounding Cunningham piano sounds like. And again, even among Cunninghams, some pianos will be slightly brighter, some will be more mellow. They're going to all have their own characteristics. And that's why it's so much fun to come visit uh, a piano store because you're only, the pianos will change uh, from, from maker to make, from, from model to model, and you really have to kind of come in and, and taste it for yourself as it were, okay? So let's listen to this 5 to 10 Cunningham Parlor Grand, and uh, of our current stock right now, this is one of the warmest pianos that we have right now. Let's take a listen. <laughs>
you know, with a warm piano like this, it makes it very easy to play softly and delicately. And particularly as you get to the middle and lower ranges, you, you feel kind of a rich depth to the sound. This is the perfect piano for a, a small to mid-sized space. Um, even a, a larger space uh, that has good acoustics will be able to amplify the beautiful characteristics of a sound like this. Now, if I were to take this piano and try to put this in a 3,000 seat hall, I, it would be a little bit more problematic because the warmth of the sound doesn't always translate into projection. So uh, there's that to consider as well in terms of how large of a space. So that's why sometimes some pianists will prefer a brighter sound depending on the occasion. If they need to play with an orchestra and they need to really cut through, they might want something that's, that's got a little more punch. But this one, <laughs> this, this is something that is just warm and cozy and, and rich and just wonderful. So many wonderful colors you can get out of a, a piano like this in a very intimate, warm, and, and just beautiful way. So this is an example, great example of a warm sounding piano. So what do you prefer? Do you like warm sounding pianos like this Cunningham Parlor Grand? Or do you prefer something a little bit more on the brighter side? I'd love to hear your opinions and your feedback in the comments below. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. We'd love to let you know as soon as we post our new ones. I'm Hugh Sung for Cunningham Piano. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.